What's going on guys? Hopefully you are having an excellent day as always. A little different scenery today. You might have noticed I changed it up. I uh, stayed in the garage because outside it's not ideal weather out here. She's uh, she's snowing pretty good out there, ladies and gentlemen. So if you uh, missed my live video because you aren't following me on Instagram, you're screwing up, guys. You're screwing up. Uh, if you do want to follow me on Instagram, I'd greatly appreciate that. I'm always putting out content every single day. My username is right here, at Mark underscore Decola and lots of content on there. So to show you what's going on, you guys know, hold on, when you know the snow's gonna come in, but you're trying your hardest, it's like, yes. EGT sensor that's gonna plug into the Edge CTS2 Insight. So one of these actually has the probe itself, that's not this one. This is what's gonna plug into uh, this bad girl right here. And then the second box here, Bear with me, one handing is not easy, I promise you. Is the actual sensor itself. So this is what's going in the manifold, and this system right here is gonna plug in right there. Bada bing, bada boom. So we're gonna start at the passenger side is where you always put your EGT probe on your Duramaxes. Lucky for me, someone had the wonderful Banks tuning kit on here, sarcasm, and they had an EGT probe in that kit. Down in there, and here's the wire for it, there's already an EGT probe in there. But to save myself from cutting this and splicing it, putting the new end on there that'll work for the edge, I'm actually just gonna unscrew it. It should already be tapped in a manifold. I'll go through all the steps as if you were tapping it and doing it yourself from scratch. I'm debating whether or not it's a good idea to get a plow around this yet. Or just say screw it and work with it. Oh, one more thing I wanna talk about is some wheels that came in here for the LOI itself. Some Anthem wheels here, 20 by 12s. They are the A761 Gunners. Obviously, 8 by 6.5 is the bolt pattern. Negative 44, like I said, 20 by 12. And there's a little preview of the wheel itself there. I'll save the rest for when she's actually on the truck. Right here is something we're going to get to later. This baby is how to save your back when working on like a truck or anything. Anything under the engine. So, after this install in the truck, we're going to unbox this baby. I'm going to show you just how nice this is going to be to work on your truck. Now, step one of this installation is going to be to clear your work area. Whether that's uh, move some bolts around, sweep the shop floor. In this case, I guess uh, clear to uh, two inches of snow, but hey, you make do with what you got, right? Sometimes you can just tell it's gonna be a long night, so you gotta bust out the work lights and get everything set up for a late night work. So first step, pull the fender well out and you need access to this passenger side. The best place to put this, actually, uh, let me grab a light on this. So the best place, to put this probe is right where this one is. Right in the very back of the passenger side manifold. Right there, that's it. Peep the cat filter there. Uh, if you uh, do want one of these, go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram and I will get you set up with one. A lot better micron rating and half the cost for the filter changes. Twice the filtration, half the cost. Anyways, so here's the EGT probe right there. We're gonna unscrew it. So this is the piece that actually goes into the manifold itself. So we drill the hole in the manifold, it's right there. This side right here is going to be a piece that screws into the manifold. That way you're just going to see this sticking out right here. Now with that, you're going to put it onto your sensor and then your sensor is just going to screw right onto this. So what I'm going to do, since this part's already in the manifold on the bank system, I'm just going to unscrew it from right here, pop the old sensor out, put the new sensor in and screw it back onto these threads. The most crucial part when drilling this is to make sure the engine's running because what's happening here is this is the manifold and it's shooting air up the up pipes, up into the turbo up there. So you don't want metal shavings going into the turbo wheel, the uh, exhaust side of it. So make sure the truck is running when you do that. So it's the essential part, it'll blow the chips right back out when the uh, hole actually pops through. So make sure you're doing that. So we're under the passenger fender well, like I was saying, right back into here. This is the location you're gonna wanna drill out. The very back of your passenger manifold is gonna be the easiest spot to get to and a nice flat surface. So step one is gonna be to use something hard like a punch and just tap it with a hammer right into there to get a little divot for your drill bit to sit in so it can drill and it doesn't just spin all over the place. But don't tap too hard. These are fragile to drill into. This is a cast piece right here, so don't hit too hard and crack it. You have to be delicate with these things. 
So first you're gonna do, drill with a 1 8 inch pilot hole and that's just to get the hole started right there so you can start drilling into it and it's a nice easy hole to get everything started. Second, you're gonna drill in with your 21 64 drill bit and that's gonna be your final drill bit that you use. All right, so the truck's running, pilot hole's drilled, the actual hole is drilled, the 21 64 hole. Now we need to thread the hole. Now we're gonna use a 1 8 inch 27 NPT thread. And that's going to be exactly what you need for the edge system. I'm assuming most of the same. I'm going to get the old, I might have to get an actual wrench to get the old sensor off of here and leave that piece in there that I need. All right, so there's the actual sensor itself. We're going to slip a new one right into the hole that's already made for us. All right, as you can see, this ain't the right drill bit for this job. I need a carbide bit to get through something that's gonna be as hard as this piece right here. This is probably a hardened steel, I'm sure, or something close to tool steel or something, so that ain't gonna work. I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna have to take an L on this one right now, for now. I'm gonna have to get some parts, figure out something if I can use this, make a sleeve, tap it out or something. I don't really know, so we'll, we'll figure something out. But until then, I think the only option is gonna be to Put this back on the truck like this i was trying to splice it and all that but the problem is this stuff is so hard the outside coating i mean which it should be it's meant to be protective of the wire but you can't really separate it without destroying the wire itself in here and that just kind of look janky so i'm not going to do that what i'm going to do is just kind of put this in probably tie this up somewhere put this back into the manifold so we don't have leaking manifolds but that doesn't mean this video was a waste we still have this right here that we're gonna put together that I'm gonna show you is gonna make your life so much easier for working on vehicles. Okay, so this is called a top side creeper. Uh, here's a little demonstration of here there's the actual picture the uh, model 3-100 from Traxon so that's kind of the way it's gonna look in the end it's just a matter of getting it assembled now figuring that out I assume assume the hardware is in here not too sure though oh yeah that's where all the fun is brackets and No bunch of bolts and nuts and washers and wheels and it looks like a fun time so lucky for you guys you get to just see this thing all said and done but I'm gonna get to assembling this and show you the finished product.
So here we are all finished behind me. As you can see, this is the top height level here. Pretty much dead level with me. I'm like 5'11 or something like that. So you definitely get a good height. I might even be able to use this on the LML to be honest. I wasn't expecting that, but it's kind of looking like that's possible. So to get it to lean forward, you just kind of push back on it and then pull it forward. And that just hinges everything forward, like if you want to work deeper into the engine bay. So that's lean forward the whole way if I pull it up. That's the uh, tallest set anchor working back a little bit. I believe these are to take it up and down, so you got to hold the weight off of it. And then you can go, that's the highest setting. You can get the whole way. And then this would be your lowest setting here. I, mean, I, I assume working on cars and stuff like that. So I mean, it's pretty comfy for the most part. Just gonna use it and figure out what I don't like and adapt it to work. Now to fold this up, it does collapse. I probably never will though, is you just pull these pins out here, one on each side, and then the legs and everything from down here basically just comes up like that. But for now, I'm gonna keep it down here. It hinges right there. So you gotta make sure not to tighten these too much or it'll clamp that completely shut, so. Maybe we'll go test her out right now. What do you, what do you guys say? I think that'd be a good idea. We'll, uh, we'll test out how she does in the snow because I think it snowed quite a bit. Oh yeah. Definitely never stop. Go ahead and get this thing lifted up a little bit. I'm on the next to highest height setting right now. Push it straight in. I did forget to put the little uh, pads on here. I'll do that next when I get back in there. I'm surprised how far that I can actually reach down and in here. Pretty much the uh, down pipe would be the extent of it. But overall, I mean, I I think it's well worth the money right here. This is gonna be a lifesaver, back saver, literally, because everything's right here. Let's try and lower this thing down a little bit, see if I can get a little lower, because as you can see, my, my head would hit the very top of this dang thing so let's look, see what we can do here man do i hate it when the battery dies the biggest annoyance ever you're sitting there talking i'm talking to my freaking self there's not even anything recording gotta dust this baby off here stone's pretty good now all right so what was where was i uh oh we're gonna drop it down and see how that works out as you can see i did put my pads on i got two right there and then my last two we're gonna go right here and right here so i can finally push this in and not have to worry but that clearance though, perfect. This might be the way to go right here, perfect setting. All right, let's try this out here. As far as reaching back in, you can go the whole way back into the back of the firewall. You can pull the leaf out of your engine bay. I mean, whatever you gotta do. Glow plug module back here, if you need to work on that. I mean, this is, this is pretty much the way to go right here, especially, I don't know if I can, reach the up pipe bolts if I was doing that it's pretty close if you're doing an EGR delete you got your uh, EGR back here you probably can't even see anything right there your EGR riser and then the EGR cooler right here sorry I had that in my mouth I think it's definitely gonna save my back a whole lot I think that lower settings the way to go so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna get that EGT Pro put back into the manifold there just to kind of plug the hole for now there's nothing I can do until I get a uh, a plan figured out for that, didn't really go the way I wanted it to, splicing into that, didn't work, drilling through it, didn't work, I kind of figured that, but that's the stuff you have when you work on stuff, you know, things don't go as planned, it's just a matter of taking the actions you need from there on out to get the job done, so that's it for tonight, guys, I really appreciate you watching the video, if you do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it, it's how I grow the channel, it's how I grew, you know, working on these things, explaining knowledge, all that stuff, so thanks again, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.